Hi folks, welcome to your planning outlook that's updated on Friday evening the 6th of November. Now fairly quiet weather patterns will exist through this weekend and just beyond and the wind typically coming from the south will mean things will be very much on the mild side. That southerly airflow though in November tends to be, for want of a better word, quite a mucky weather pattern with a lot of haze and murkiness and low level fog maybe just becoming more extensive fog across many of the hills as time goes on. Some rain around occasionally, that a bit varied from day to day. There's nothing really around as we start the weekend. On Saturday we've got uh, still fairly slack high pressure around remnants of a front away to the north of Scotland and some fronts just starting to encroach into the southwest of England and Wales through the day may just bring some rain to the Brecon Beacons as time goes on. Otherwise the story of some low level fog mostly just in the valleys and the glens and the mountains uh, free of that fog above an inversion. So the quite chilly air exists across Scotland, milder, much milder conditions the further south you go, especially in Wales. Now Sunday's quite a complicated weather day really where you've got the legacy of still some very low level valley fog that will exist typically across more northern regions of Scotland. But running into that is that generally damp atmosphere from the south which will just tend to clag the hills in in fog from low levels upwards so that cloud top if you like will lift much more onto the higher top so your chances of getting above inversion conditions are much lower uh, especially around the frontal zone coming northwards into Scotland and generally that zone across England and Wales as well. Some improvement behind that front across Wales tending to develop the rain that will be around, not generally heavy, but could just be fairly persistent over a good many hours in places, extending gradually northwards across Scotland, the far north and northeast, tending to see little, if anything, of this. The wind locally quite gusty, particularly around western coasts. Monday keeps us in a generally mild southerly airflow with a little centre of low pressure trying to swing northwards across Wales which brings the risk of some heavier bursts of rain around locally here and some stronger winds too. Across Scotland a few bits of showers just on the leftovers of some fronts that are clearing towards the north, some patches of rain and drizzle elsewhere and it's really a story of the very lowest and most persistent cloud on hills that are south facing with this airflow from the south. So the southern half of the highlands most prone to staying with low cloud, Dumfries and Galloway, the south lake district and perhaps fairly extensive across a good part of the Pennines and Peak District as well. Sometimes you might just poke through between cloud layers but it's a hazy atmosphere I would suggest at best. Not a great deal changing into Tuesday, still a generally mild and rather damp southerly airflow that's in charge with a legacy of a lot of low cloud and hazy conditions across many places. The legacy of an old front may just produce some rain and drizzle and maybe the odd showery burst across England and Wales. The far north of Scotland typically faring best for the greatest chance of some sunshine and some clearer skies away from the fog banks. Looks like a strengthening wind into the middle of the week as low pressure to the west just starts to squeeze its way in. So the risk of gales developing particularly on hills out towards the west. Some rain coming on as well. Just got to watch the timing of that one. It may be that many places see a dry day ahead of that across more eastern regions. Still again a story of some low cloud but as that wind picks up it maybe just starts to lift things a little bit so perhaps some improvement away from those western coasts where low cloud and rain will likely develop. So through the middle of the week it looks as though some fronts will start to make progress in from the Atlantic, uh, further centres of low pressure just spinning themselves up as well. Still a mild pattern that prevails most likely right the way through the week. Uh, some further rain coming on to western coastal areas, maybe eastern parts still staying often dry, the far north of Scotland too as we go uh, through the latter part of the week. That uh, trend to generally windier conditions seems to be the one that's around through the latter part of next week. Some persistent heavy rain is possible across particularly western regions, those fronts passing eastwards occasionally too. Trends seem to favour south by southwesterly as we head towards next weekend, so a, f a fairly mixed pattern there. We do still have a strong centre of high pressure though away to our east, that's over eastern Europe and Russia. 
That high is worth keeping a watch on as we go onwards into the middle of November and beyond. Some indications favouring that general centre of high pressure becoming focused more around Scandinavia as we go through this seven day period shown here up until the 19th. If that does develop, it does open up the opportunity further down the line to dragging in some chillier easterly weather patterns if that high does become a strong blocking feature, essentially uh, stopping the Atlantic weather patterns from gaining too much of a foothold across uh, the British Isles. We'll wait and see just how that one develops. It might uh, herald some uh, chillier times further onwards, but for now we're still more feeling the effects of the milder southerly air flows. We shall keep you up to date on all of that. You can follow your local three-day forecast, of course, every day on our website. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.